Thank you very much for uh, Ms. Barragan for standing in for Mr. Thompson and uh, thank you for the majority for holding this event. As we approach the 20th anniversary of the horrific September 11th attacks against our nation, I think it is important that we don't allow them to become a relic of the past. As the 9-11 Commission cited in its report, we can never again allow a failure of imagination in how we approach our national and homeland security. It's become instinctual to say, I remember where I was on that fateful day that, I sh that shook our nation. Uh, in fact, uh, for many Americans, especially those from my home state of New York, the pain from the loss and devastation carries through to today. However, as each year passes and the attacks fall further into history, we risk forgetting the lessons we so painfully learned that day. We risk letting our guard down and making some of the same mistakes that led to the intelligence and information failure of September 11th. Sadly, I feel that the country has lost the American spirit we saw in the days, weeks, and months following September 11th when we put aside partisan differences and work together for the betterment of this great nation. Despite that, I still, Mr. Chairman and Madam Chair, believe that in both the best and worst of times, the spirit and determination of the American people will continue to act as a force of good in the world. Our nation is a beacon for freedom around the world, and it's up to us to keep it that way. Fortunately, I feel that this committee still upholds that spirit, and I sincerely appreciate that, that about our working relationships. I appreciate the partnerships and the friendships. Like me, I know you wake up every morning determined to make the homeland stronger. Next week, we will travel to New York City, truly hallowed ground. And I know that the committee also has other activities and events planned for this month to remember, commemorate, and continue to learn both new lessons and recapitulate the old. So again, Thank you for holding this event today. I look forward to hearing from our, part, our panelists. And may I close by saying we can never forget 9-11 and we must continue to learn lessons from that time. If we don't, we are doomed to repeat it.